Hi, it's Paul from HowToNetwork.com. Today, we are launching the Microsoft Azure Fundamentals course. So I thought it'd be a great idea to do an incentive challenge like I've done before with the Cisco CCDA and other exams, which will help you uh, get motivated to pass. So I'll tell you on the last slide what that is. You might not have heard of this exam because it's a new exam offered by Microsoft and it's actually replacing a few of the uh, exams they had for Azure, the MCSA. Um, but this is a, a, actually addressed a gap in the market where there was no introduction to Azure. It was either learn a lot of stuff, including some coding and some fairly difficult um, technical subjects. And it's taken a lot of basics of cloud computing and just a few fundamentals and put them together into an exam. Launched uh, this year, 2019, it's suitable for complete beginners. So even if you've just decided to start studying IT or make a career change, or you've done something else like Cisco or um, some of the technology, you can do this. The exam code is AZ900. It costs $99 in America. Other countries may vary. So it covers the cloud networking fundamentals. This is um, a CompTIA course actually, but they've got some of the same content. So we'll, I'll explain in a bit that we're using some of that content. You don't need any previous knowledge, as I've already explained. There's no coding. For doing some of the Microsoft backend stuff, you need to understand some of the coding, but there's none for this exam. And it introduces core Azure platform concepts. So if you want to be in sales, marketing for IT, uh, IT management or a help desk, anything like that, you um, you should be looking at this exam or if you just want to add an easy qualification to your resume. So that's what the certificate looks like. I said it's $99. There's no performance based questions. You don't have any tricky uh, solutions to suggest or troubleshooting scenarios to try and fix. There's around 40 questions. Obviously, they can change this as they go along. The exam at the moment is 60 minutes, so a quick exam. You can book through the Microsoft website and it's Pearson View is the testing centre in most countries. There is an exam info page. I suggest you just Google the Azure Fundamentals AZ900 and it will take you there. That's got the syllabus and all the other things. These are the main syllabus items which you're going to be tested on. So that's all uh, four of them. So we cover all of these and all of the subheadings underneath those topics. We also add an introduction and we also add a project on the end. And we also have around 50% of the course as hands on. You follow along with our instructor using Azure. And it's basically just using their GUI, their graphical user interface. It's nothing too difficult. So getting prepped around 50% of the theory, which we cover in the lectures and around 50% hands on follow along with uh, the instructor as he shows you all the different uh, aspects. Now there's a free trial for Azure, so it won't cost you anything. Just remember to cancel your free trial when you've done it. And uh, we've got some practice mini exams in the course as well. Here's a quick snapshot of the Azure uh, portal, the dashboard that yeah, we'll be playing with some of these resources. As I said, just Google Azure free trial if you want to see where the free trial is. We also have a lesson showing you how to get your free trial working. Why well, take the exam? Loads of, loads of reasons, really. More opportunities for you. You have to be a generalist nowadays. It's 2019. You could have been a specialist quite a few years ago and, and got some good money, but now you have to be good at quite a few things or at least have an understanding. You get more calls if you register your resume on job websites. If you have Azure on there, you're obviously going to get more calls because you get hit by more searches, more job offers. If you have more skills, you have a higher salary. As you can see here, this is the first salary survey that I found. Uh, if you know a lot of Azure, you're obviously going to get paid more, which is 130. If you're looking at entry level, which is basic support, basic help desk, um, just as a simple as all support uh, technician, then you're looking at around 87,000. This obviously depends on any experience, any other certifications. If you're studying for harder exams, but this is the ballpark average. Uh, the course content, we've actually taken a section of our CompTIA Cloud Essentials, so it might look familiar if you've done that. 
if you haven't done the CompTIA Cloud Essentials, I, re I recommend you study at the same time. The reason is there's around 30% crossovers. So you might as well get two certifications because you're already putting most of the work in. The rest was taken from the easier sections in the MCSA Cloud developing Microsoft Azure solutions. They've taken maybe 30% of that syllabus, the stuff that isn't too technical, and put it into the uh, syllabus for this exam. So we're actually, we haven't created many new lectures, maybe about five, just to match the missing items from the fundamentals. So I'm going to uh, do an offer, which I worked really well last time for the CCDA. I'll refund your exam fee. $99 is what I'll refund. So if you if you have to pay more where you are, then sorry. I won't pay your bus or train fare or lunch money or anything like that, your parking fees. So $99 I'll refund. You just need to log a help desk ticket on howtonetwork.com. You need to attach your receipt that you use for the exam. Also upload a photograph of you holding your certificate. You saw what it looks like earlier, so you need to wait a week for it to arrive. There's an exam transcript URL. So when you pass any Microsoft exams, you have a, a login portal and you can send a code to employers or um, agents, job agents. And um, that's the thing you'll send me. Just log one ticket. You must be out of your trial period. So if you've got any trials, that must have converted to you being a paying member. And um, when I come to do the draw, which is at the end of November, I'll tell you in a second, then um, you have to still be a member. If you join for a $1 quit and you're not a member anymore, you won't go in the draw. Yep, so the end of November 2019. So that, if you're reading this um, on the day I launched the course, you've got August, September, October, you've got loads of time and the course is only four hours long. So you'll do my course and then probably go over it again and just do some practicals and practice exams. So um, 20 names in total, so I'm not going to do infinite. But don't worry, every time I do this challenge, I get at most 10. I guarantee at most I, will, I get 10. So I've doubled that just in case. So if you're thinking you haven't got a chance, you've got a really, really good chance. Uh, for the CCDA draw that's coming out to the end of August, so far I offered to pay for 10 and I've got nine people passed. So unless a couple more pass this month, they're all going to qualify for the draw. So um, that's it. Um, I'm sure you've heard enough of me. I'll um, If you go to um, howtonetwork.com, in fact, I'll, I'll put it a URL on this because um, it's just launched. I haven't got the page URL yet. I'll put it on this slide here and uh, you'll look forward to seeing you on the forum.